Hello friends, this video on our skeletal system and skin part 1 is presented by theekshahub.com learn with passion. Topics to be covered in this video are Introduction to organ system Can you identify which organ systems are shown in the figures? In the first figure, we can see respiratory system and digestive system. In the second figure, we can see muscular system. And in the third figure, we can see skeletal system. In the previous class, we have learned about respiratory system, digestive system and muscular system. With the help of that, can you able to complete the following table? Heart, function of the heart is blood circulation, and it is located in thoracic cavity. Lungs, function of the lungs is respiration, and it is located in thoracic cavity. Intestine, function of the intestine is digestion and absorption of food, and it is located in abdominal cavity. Brain function of the brain is to keep control and coordination of the body and it is located in cranial cavity. As we seen that, the various organs are safe within the body cavity. Hence, the human skeleton is a protective shell for all the internal organs. Fracture and X-ray Sometimes, when we fall while playing, or have an accident, a bone in our arm, or leg, may get broken. This is called a fracture of the bone. A fracture in a bone causes severe and unbearable pain and the part with the broken bone swells immediately. Suppose your friend meets with an accident and a bone in his leg is fractured. How will you help? After an accident, try to prevent any movement of the fractured part. Immobilize it, that means do not move the fractured part of the body, and get immediate medical help. After going to the hospital, an X-ray image is taken of the part which is swollen. An X-ray image shows whether a bone is broken, and also, the exact spot where it is broken. This helps in providing the proper treatment. The technique of taking X-rays were discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. X-rays are also called as Röntgen rays. Think yourself. Place your hand at the center of your chest. What is the name of the hard part that you feel on placing your hand? on your chest. The hard part you feel on placing your hand on your chest is Do you feel some hard bumps on the back? What are they called? The hard bumps on the back are called vertebrae. What difference do you notice between the bones of the back? and those of the chest. The bones of the back are irregular, while the bones of the chest are regular. The Human Skeletal System All the bones in our body are not of the same shape. Every bone is different. All the bones together form a framework or skeleton. The skeleton gives a shape to the body. All the bones of the body, along with cartilage, together form the skeletal system. Bones and Types of Bones We have seen that skeleton supports our body and it protects our body organs. Human skeleton is made up of 206 bones. Also note that Human skeleton is composed of 270 bones at birth. The total decreases to 206 
by adulthood after some bones get fused together now we will discuss main constituents of the bone our bones are hard they are not flexible means they are move easily without breaking bones are composed of two main constituents these constituents are biotic and abiotic constituents bone cells are the biotic constituents of the bone while calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and water are the abiotic components of the bone now we will discuss types of bones bones of our body are classified into four types which are flat bones small bones irregular bones and long bones let's study these types one by one flat bones the bones which are thin flattened and usually curved are flat bones examples of flat bones are scapula sternum and the bones in cranial cavity are flat bones small bones the bones which are roughly cube shaped with vertical and horizontal dimensions approximately equal are the small bones examples of small bones are the carpals in the wrist and the tarsals in the ankles irregular bones the bones which are spongy that is covered with a thin layer of compact bone are the irregular bones examples of irregular bones are bones in vertebral column bones in pelvis etc long bones bones that are longer than they are wide are called long bones examples of long bones are bones in upper limb and bones in lower limb are long bones the system which gives a definite shape to the body provides support and protects the delicate organs inside the body is the skeletal system think yourself identify the animals from the pictures of their skeletons first picture is the skeleton of horse in second picture we can see the skeleton of dinosaur in third picture we can see the skeleton of fish and in the fourth picture it is the skeleton of snake in the next video we will discuss parts of human skeletal system joints and types of joints and the skin thank you for watching this video keep learning and keep sharing